questions about how I added the fishing line or jewelry wire to the ruffles of my tool. So I thought I would show you a little bit closer here. So the issue that a lot of people had, and me included, was that um, pinning all of your hem is not only time consuming, but because of the nature of the tool and how open weave it is, by the time you pinned the whole thing, you were losing some of your pins before you even made your way to the sewing machine. So I did end up at some point, since I had a lot of ruffles to make for this costume, I did end up just starting to um, go without pins. So I thought I would show you that real quick. So, um, and this is a costume um, for my daughter and the ruffles, there are so many ruffles gathered so tightly that it um, is convenient in this case because no one is ever gonna really notice if your hem varies from a quarter of an inch to three eighths and back again. So really simply, I have my fishing line on one side and all of my tool on the other. And I have a small zigzag set on my sewing machine and I just, worked in like two or three inch increments and tucked a little bit over and sewed a couple inches and tucked a little bit more and sewed a little bit more. And what's the only thing you have to remember here is not to make this too hard on yourself. Remember, you don't need to make sure that your fishing line or jewelry wire is actually inside in between your zigzag stitches. You're not trying to catch it in there. You just want your fishing line or jewelry wire to be trapped inside the hem. So give yourself plenty of space. Your fishing line is all the way over to this side and your zigzag is all the way over to that side. And you just slowly make your way all the way around your ruffle. So um, it's still time consuming, <laughs> but not nearly as bad as um, for those of you that were struggling to actually pin the whole hem in place first. So I'm gonna show you this one more time up really, really close so you can get a good look at how I'm trapping that fishing line in there. Okay, so one more time, I've got fishing line on this side, tool on this side, a little zigzag set on my sewing machine, and I just fold a little bit over, making sure that the fishing line is trapped all the way up as close to the side of the hem as I can get it, and I'm going to just zigzag stitch that in place, and again, work in two or three inch increments, and keep going until I get all the way back around to the start of my ruffle. So it's kind of hard to see the difference here because my ruffles are all on this side of my sewing machine. But if you take a look at these ruffles that I've already sewn, you can see that you get a nice curve to the edges of your ruffles rather than kinks or gathers. And you can take a look at the bottom of the mermaid queen dress that I worked on for this Halloween to actually see them in action too.